and welcome to the first ever episode of Bubba's Ravitry. How, how are y'all guys doing? But anyhow, let's go on to the rabbits. We got one rabbit in here. He is a male. His name is Scooter Booter. And he lives in a hutch that me and my buddy built not too long ago. And it's got a little nest box in there for him. There you go. Got straw in there. And as you can see him. But anyhow. And then me and Jack over at Jack's Customs. We've built this huge long rabbit hutch. As you can see. And all these dividers, these pegboard dividers, you can slide in and out. It's got little tracks. Got chicken wire on the front, hardware cloth on the bottom, chicken wire on the. Well, this is a side. This is the front and the bottom. Chicken wire on the side, hardware cloth on the bottom, and chicken wire on the front. On the top, I guess, but this is the back, I guess you can say. Anyhow, this is the back where you can get to the rabbit. It just takes the sticks out and lifts their pegboard up, and there's the rabbit. If you're not going to mess with the rabbit, you'll have to leave your block inside these. And this one, on the very end, is empty right now. Each space is two foot by two foot. Like I said, I could take the dividers out and make a bigger run. But for right now, that's how it's working. It's got four legs on it. Well, actually, eight. Two on each side. Each corner. And it's holding it up pretty well. It took four people to get it in here. But anyhow, if you want to see more about the chickens, go check out Bubba's Chickens and Ducks How To. My other YouTube channel. But anyhow, I guess we'll walk around back and show you the four females. So I'm going to pause this. Okay, this is Bubba's Rabbit Tree. We're coming down to the the bigger rabbit hutch. It, used, it was going to be a quail hutch, but quail didn't last long. So, rabbit hutch today. I took off one mortar because I got to fill them up. Gotta fill their feet up. They go through water and feed. Um, I fill up their feeder up maybe, maybe two days ago, probably. It lasts them about two days. But anyhow, rabbit feeder on both sides of the rabbit hutch and the rabbit water. But anyhow, you may wonder why there is one over here. And three over here, because this one was with them, but I've bred her, and hopefully she will have me some babies. This is how the door set up. You just open this latch, and you come right in. And feces fall through the hardware cloth. Again, it's hardware cloth on the bottom. Chicken wire on the doors, and got some windows for them. No chicken wire. But anyhow, the rabbits are enjoying it. Up here, there's chicken wire so no birds can get in. Right where the big old cracks and braces are right there. Chicken wire all the way around so no birds can get in. Chicken wire right here on the old... Um, if you didn't know, this was a chicken and duck house before. But anyhow, now it's my rabbit hutch. So, yeah. 
I took off the floor, the bottom floor, but anyhow, that's what it is. And this is Bubble Rabbit, Bubble's Rabbit Tree. And for right now, until more videos, we are out.